As I'm taking my dog for a walk, my automatic watch is self-winding itself, which seems perfectly normal to us in 2024. But 100 years ago, exactly in 1924, this was space age technology. Prior to that, the invention of the automatic wristwatch, every watch had to be hand wound. And for this, we can thank a chap called John Harwood from Bolton in Lancashire, England. Now, John was a staff armoury sergeant during the First World War, so the war 1914 to 1918. And whilst at war, John being a bit of an inventor and all that, he came up with two fabulous inventions. The first one was an automatic pistol and the second an automatic screwdriver, both very handy objects whilst fighting the Germans in the trenches. Fortunately for us, John survived the war and then sometime in the early 1920s, always coming up with new inventions. I'm going to try and navigate the stream here without falling over. John found himself sitting in a park on a Sunday morning, considering life. And he witnessed children playing in the park, having fun. Remember we used to do that as kids before health and safety? And particularly he saw some kids playing on a seesaw. You remember the kind of thing, that movement? And John thought if he could replicate that movement of the seesaw in a watch mechanism that worked in a similar fashion as you were walking, then he reckoned he could keep a watch moving without having to wind it. He went back home, he started doing some drawings, coming up with some ideas, and before you know it, John Harwood of Bolton, England, came up with the world's first automatic watch movement. And soon after, a patent was taken out. This was in 1924, exactly 100 years ago, and John's invention was protected. And he went immediately into business. And in no time at all, the Harewood self-winders found themselves in watches produced all over the world. Money came in. John was rich. Until the end of the 1920s, along comes the Depression, and John's business went bankrupt in 1930. However, since we've been telling this story and walking our walk, my watch, thanks to John Harewood, has been self-winding.